Today we made it out here to the Sebastian Inlet. Um, right now I'm trying to look for some bait because only about two dozen shrimp and something's gonna keep, something kept eating them. So I'm gonna have to try to find some mullet or something. I found some greenbacks, but they're like real tiny. They're like little fry. So, but um, yeah, we're out here trying to find some bait. And we're gonna try to get to the fishing. The water's ripping right now, so I'm just waiting for, I think eight o'clock is gonna be the high tide. So once that switches, it'll be hopefully a little bit better. But in the meantime, let's find some bait. All right, I found some good baits. I got about three or four dozen mullet in the bucket. I know a few are gonna die, so that's why I decided to keep a, a little bit more than I usually keep in the bucket. But I got two aerators running on it. So hopefully they some of them can stay alive i'm gonna try to drift the mullet out here right now before we go closer to the inlet where we can find something it's got a mullet with like a little maybe like a half ounce weight knocker rig just to try to keep it down i'm already stuck that current's freaking ripping I'm not too familiar out here, so I don't know where all the... I mean, I'm sure there's rocks everywhere, but I don't know where all the rock piles and stuff are. But I'm just... I'm just fishing. I do want to bring my boat out here one day, but I didn't bring it today because I knew it was going to be windy, so... I said we can just go try it and try some shore. Or something bit my last mullet. So I'm going to try throwing a smaller one out there, see if I can get something else to bite. There we go. Not that big, but something. Came off right there, but it was a little jack. I kind of figured they're still fun to catch. So I'm gonna throw another one out there, see if I can actually land it. I'm gonna throw another mullet out there, see if we can find a land one. Another one. That thing came up. Am I still under? Find another little jack right here. Pretty heavy rod, so he doesn't feel like he's fighting that much. Jack. Nothing big, but still fun to catch. Right, now that I got some mullet, I'm gonna try out here a little bit closer to the inlet. Crazy though, look at that wave. Probably gonna get wet, but Gotta do what you gotta do to catch some fish. I'm glad I didn't bring my boat. Look how crazy it is out there. Had a good choice just coming out here by shore. It's always when you come out here on the weekends where it's bad, but when you're at work, zero mile per hour winds, calm skies. Come out here on the weekend and it's crazy up out there. We moved over here back where I caught the jack. I got a rod out there for a mullet while we wait for a bite and we'll take a little lunch break. Got some ceviche, some shrimp ceviche. A little bit of salsa. Can't forget the avocado. Right 
ready for lunch. I finally came out here to the north side. The uh, the tide's starting to switch, so hopefully the bike picks up out here. I'm gonna try to get on some mangroves, see if I can find some. But it's a little rough. Glad I still got some mullet I'll throw out there. A lot of them died, but I still got more than half half of them left. That should be more than enough out here. And a couple shrimp. Thought it was a mangrove. It's probably one of the biggest ones I've ever caught of these. They're usually real tiny. Sebastian Luna was a bust today. I didn't catch nothing. A lot of people weren't catching nothing. I didn't see nobody catch anything, to be honest. It was real rough, real windy. Fish weren't biting. Got that jack in the morning. I missed one. Other than that, I didn't get no bites after after that i think i got like a little puffer fish can't believe it was that bad so we're on the way back home it's about a two hour drive thinking about just going up to holiver canal fishing out the last mullets that i have maybe i'll have some luck so we'll see what happens i'm gonna throw a piece of cut bait out there See if we can get on something. So today has not been a pretty good day. Leave this here. Drag is loose. See if we can get something. Hopefully something other than a catfish. Cause that's how you catch out here sometimes. While I wait for a bite on the cut bait, I'm just gonna throw one of these uh, dead shrimp out there. See if something wants to eat that. Oh. Got a mango on the on the dead shrimp. Not a keeper, but the species we're looking for. I'll keep casting out there. Hopefully we can catch a 10 incher. Starting to get bites on these uh on these dead shrimp. Some mangroves, but they're all too short. I think this is a 10 right here. This gotta be a 10. If this ain't a 10, he's like nine and a half. But he's gotta be. He's gonna be real close. Look at that. 11. If I pinch the tail, he's, he's 11. I guess he's coming home. Well, that's a keeper. Let's see if we can get another one right here in this spot. They're tearing up those dead shrimp. I literally just putting these dead shrimp uh, all the way on because they come off real easy since they're dead already. Just throwing it right here on the edge. It gets deep pretty quick here, so I guess they're just hanging out right there. They're already biting it. Oh, missed it. I'll throw it back out there. Hopefully they cut mullet because once I finish with these shrimp, I'm going to start throwing cut mullet out there. Maybe they'll like that better. Uh, something I already got it. Come on, eat it. There we go. Dang, that was on that little piece too. <laughs> he ain't even a keeper, but he pulled drag like he was. Mm. Yep, eight and a half incher. Pulled hard though. I'm pretty. We got him chummed up right here, so might be good for a little while. Just gotta keep throwing them out there before they leave. Throw a little piece of cut mullet out there, see if they want that. If they eat that, I got plenty of that. These uh, no seams are starting to get me. I didn't bring no a bug spray. And that was a good bite. Still on there. That's a good thing about the mullet too. It'll, it'll stay on longer than the shrimp. <laughs> Man, you gotta love these mangroves biting. They hit that thing like they're the size of a freight train. And the thing with mangrove snapper too, that whenever they start going like in a frenzy, more snapper will show up because they want, they're want they curious. All of them come and check. And that thing's not even a keeper, but y'all saw how he took that line. But yeah, that's a good thing. They'll start biting and then more will come. More will show up. But curiosity killed the cat. So if 
The keeper eats it. He's going home with me. There you go. I'm not a keeper, but I ain't even got to do nothing. I'm literally just sitting down right here on the, on the floor, throwing out chunks of uh, chunks of mullet. Had more action here than out there at Sebastian. That ain't a mango. That's a puffer. A little puffer fish. He's even got some gnarly teeth on him too. Let's see if I can show him the camera. Look at those things. Put a finger in there. That would definitely take a chunk off. You gotta be careful with these. When nothing's biting, I think my favorite thing to do is try to catch mangroves because they fight hard and they taste good when they're keepers. Okay, okay. That might be another keeper. He almost snatched the rod out of my hand. He's probably like nine and a half. I bet he is. Yeah, nine and a quarter. Got lucky. As you guys can see, that little mangrove snapper bite picked up right there. Had more action than out there at uh, Sebastian. But I'm gonna try to make a little video out of this with the couple fish that I caught. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it's been a minute, but I haven't had time to come out here fishing. And I mean, as you guys can see, I came out here today and this, it wasn't the best. The weather wasn't in our favor, but made something happen. Appreciate you guys. Catch you on the next one.